traffic together. How's the day shaping up? Well, you know, it's still going to be very mild today, Danielle, well into the 60s later this afternoon. And while some spots are seeing some hazy sunshine, we've got a bit of fog along the coastline. In fact, it's uh, rolled into Newport here, blocking out most of the sun there. And we have some dense fog in westerly, too. So and travel closer to the coastline today, running into some reduced visibility here for the end of the commute. And we're going to keep an eye as that tries to spread further inland. There are showers to our north and west. These are going to head our way, too. So while it is still on the warm side, not going to be the beautiful day that we had yesterday. It'll turn breezy and that uh, high humidity allowing for that fog this morning. You can see visibility well below a quarter mile westerly, Groton, uh, even Newport now under a mile for visibility. So as we move through the morning hours, temperatures are going to warm. We're in the middle 50s in Smithfield, Providence as well, around 54 degrees at Rhode Island College. Warwick's climbed up to 54 and we are headed into the 60s, even westerly, where the temperature right now is around 54 degrees. Low pressure is moving quickly into the area and that's bringing the showers this morning. The bulk of the rain stays north of the Mass Pike and our future cast shows that for this afternoon. But a few showers passing through here, especially in the second half of the day. They're spotty and they're light. Not everyone sees one. And the amounts that we get from this, very little. Under a tenth of an inch of rain here in Rhode Island. So 4 o'clock this afternoon, starting off the evening commute, still with the risk of a passing shower. It winds down and the skies do some clearing through the evening and overnight, a mix of clouds and sun on the way for Friday with brisk and cooler conditions. Temperatures today still trying to climb out of the 50s through the end of the morning, so not a rapid warm up. We're at noon, about 59 degrees, which is seasonable for this time of year. But those temperatures climb into the mid and upper 60s over the afternoon hours. So 3 o'clock, it's a big difference, almost 10 degrees warmer than at noon at uh, 69 degrees, 68 in Smithfield, 63 Newport, New Bedford in the low to mid 60s and very mild start to the evening, still well into the 60s. Once our cold front passes through, those temperatures will start to fall and later tonight will fall down to around 45 degrees under partly cloudy skies. So an early shower in the first part of the evening and then drier and cooler to finish. Well, that cool air continues to flow in on a breezy northwest wind for Friday. Highs around 55, 52 for Saturday near the freezing mark in the morning. Not quite as cool when you wake up Sunday morning and the time change will allow for a, an early sunset Sunday afternoon. 435 will be our sunset time. Temperatures dropping through the 40s. Chilly when you wake up Monday morning and head out to the bus stop. Afternoon highs still running a little cooler than normal, but by Tuesday we're back under a warmer trend. I don't think we'll be in the 70s like we had yesterday, but it'll be dry and comfortable for election day weather with temperatures in the mid to upper 50s in the afternoon and looks dry through the polls closing. Could see a quick shower Tuesday night. The future cast always found